Hello everyone. Today is second day of chapter 5 weather and climate. In this chapter we have already discussed about weather and climate. First I am going to take feedback. What is definition of atmosphere? Second, humidity. What do you mean by the word climate? What is weather? What is the difference between weather and climate? Students, I hope you people are able to answer these questions. Students, in today's topic, we will learn about the factors that determine the climate of a place that are distance from the equator, height above the sea level, distance from the sea, direction of the winds and humidity and rainfall. Here, I am going to discuss terms that you will read in the chapter today. First is equator, zero degree latitude that divides the earth into two equal halves. Second, poles, fixed ends of the earth's axis. For example, the North Pole. Third term, latitude, imaginary line running from the east to west. For example, Tropic of Cancer. Next term, moderate climate. Climate that is neither too hot nor too cold. Extreme climate. Climate that is very hot in summers and very cold in winters. And the last term is humidity. Amount of water vapor present in the air. Now I am going to discuss difficult words that you will read. Today, first is particular, which means specific, experiencing, having, influence, affect, moisture, water. So, open your social studies book at page number 30. You all have to mark important terms and meanings while reading the chapter. Why does the climate vary from region to region? Which means why one area is having different climate from the other. At a particular time of a year, one region is experiencing hot and humid climate. The other region is experiencing very cold climate with land covered with thick layer of snow. Students, write down meaning of particular, specific and experiencing having. Different parts of the world have different types of climate. For example, students, India is a large country and the climate in different parts of India is quite different from one another. Some parts of country like Meghalaya have wet climate while some parts like Rajasthan have dry climate. So different parts of the country experience different type of climate. 
the main source of light and heat is the sun though the sun gives out same amount of heat all the places on the surface of the earth do not receive it at the same rate this is because many factors influence the distribution of heat on the surface of the earth students influence means affect students you know that the sun is the main source of light and heat and it gives light and heat to all the places of the earth but every part of the earth does not receive it at the same rate because there are many factors that affect distribution of the heat of the sun the factors that determine the climate of a place are number 1 distance from the equator second height above the sea level third distance from the sea fourth direction of the winds and fifth is humidity and rainfall students now we will discuss about all these factors in detail distance from the equator students word equator means zero degree latitude that divides the earth into two equal halves the rays of the sun fall over the surface of the earth near the equator these rays spread vertically over a small area the rays of the sun that fall in this area are direct making it a hot region as we move towards the poles the rays of the sun become slanting these rays cover a larger area making the polar region ice covered for most part of the year students poles means fixed ends of the earth's axis and polar region is the area located near the poles let us understand first factor with the help of picture the rays of the sun fall directly near the equator throughout the year direct rays fall over a smaller area and the area gets more heat as we move away from the equator the rays of the sun fall on the earth in a slanting way these slanting rays of the sun fall over a larger area and the heat of the sun rays get distributed therefore areas near the poles get less heat as compared to the areas near the equator height above the sea level which means altitude hill stations such as shimla nainital and uti are cool even during summer because they are at a higher altitude which means the height of a place above 
the sea level or its altitude also affects the climate of a place. The higher is the place above the sea level, the cooler it is. That is why the climate at the mountains and at the hill stations is cooler than that of the plains. Some places are in the same latitude but they do not have same climatic conditions. For example, Chennai and Bengaluru are in the same latitude but they do not have the same climatic condition. Chennai is warmer than Bengaluru. Word latitude means imaginary line running from the east to west. Students, Bengaluru and Chennai are located almost on the same latitude. Their distance from the equator is almost the same. They should have the same climate, but it is not so. The climate of Bengaluru is much cooler than that of Chennai. This is because the temperature decreases by 1 degree Celsius for every 165 meters above the sea level. Students, mark this line. Students, there is a term that is lapse rate which means the temperature decreases by 1 degree Celsius for every 165 meters above the sea level. Which means as we go towards the higher place from the sea level, temperature decreases. Chennai is located at the sea level whereas Bengaluru is located more than 500 meters above the sea level. Chennai is warmer than Bengaluru. It is due to altitude of 500 meters above sea level. It is therefore clear that higher the place is from the sea level, the cooler it is. Is. Distance from the sea. Places near the sea coast have a climate that is neither too hot nor too cold. This is because of the moderating influence of the sea. Whereas places that are far away from the sea have an extreme climate. That is, they have very hot summers and very cold winters. Students, word coast means land near the sea. And there are two types of climate that I have read here. One is moderate climate, which means climate that is neither too hot nor too cold and second is an extreme climate which means climate that is very hot in summers and very cold in winters. The climate of a place is also affected by its distance from the sea. A place near the sea is neither too hot nor too cold. It has a moderate climate. On the other hand, the places situated away from the sea are very hot 
in summers and very cold in winters they have an extreme type of climate students for example let's take the cities of mumbai and delhi mumbai being near the sea shore has moderate type of climate but delhi being away from the sea is cold during winters and hot during summers direction of the winds wind means the movement of air from one place to another the climate of a place depends also on the wind that blows into the land the direction of winds that blow over an area have an effect on climate of that place wind is the air in motion when the air gets warm it expands and becomes lighter and rises up the cool air from the surrounding areas then rushes to take its place this air in motion is called wind if it is blowing from a hot region it makes the place hot or if it is blowing from a cold region it makes the place cool which means if the wind blows from the direction where the temperature is cool it makes the climate of the place cool and if the wind comes from the direction where the temperature is warm or hot it will make the climate of the place warm or hot the winds affect the climate of a place northern india is affected by cold waves during winter because of cold winds from the himalayas northern india experiences very cold winters because of the winds which come from the himalayas sometimes winds bring clouds with moisture and cause rainfall for example in india the south west monsoon winds bring a lot of rain to the coastal areas from the nearby water bodies word moisture means water sometimes wind bring clouds filled with water vapor which cause rainfall for example in india the monsoon winds that bring rain are the most important factor that affects our climate monsoon winds are seasonal winds blowing from the indian ocean to the main land of india humidity and rainfall the amount of water vapor in the air is called humidity winds blowing from the sea bring a lot of moisture with them a place closer to the sea has a humid climate as it receives the moist laden wind from the sea which causes rainfall here 
Thus, the climate of the place is determined by the winds and the distribution of rainfall over the years. Students, if the wind comes from the direction of sea or it passes over a large water body, it will catch some water vapors. When this wind blows across the land, it cools down and condensation takes place. The wind cannot hold drops of water and it comes down in the form of rain. It makes the climate of a place wet. Thus, humidity and rainfall also affects climate of a place. So, students, today we have discussed about the factors that determine the climate of a place that are distance from the equator, height above the sea level, distance from the sea, direction of the winds, humidity and rainfall. It is your homework to read page number 30 and 31. Thank you.